Hi, Phil Burt here. Um, I want to talk to you about indoor training because here in the UK we're coming into winter at the moment and uh, also virtual cycling is massively expanding at the moment. Uh, you've got your likes, your Swift, Sufferfest, Peloton, Wahoo with their new fit bike, what bikes. People are really, really taking to static cycling training, you know, and that's got a couple of um, challenges with it. I think it's fantastic in that people can do stuff online and compete against each other. You know, nobody likes going out in their garage and grinding up and down the gears looking at the concrete wall. And that advancing technology is fantastic, but we're noticing a change in the profile of injuries that are coming. So just as mountain biking is a little bit different to road cycling, when you're on a static bike, a couple of issues to consider. Um, and that I've seen people with problems with different types of saddle sorts and different types of knee injuries. Now, that isn't surprising if you think, if you're really into Swift and you're sitting in the same place for two hours, one thing that will cause skin breakdown and a certain type of saddle sore, you know, like a boil or broken skin, your skin gets wet, hot, and <laughs> it will break down eventually. Now, have a think about it. You're static in your garage or your home thing, you haven't got air moving over you like you have outside, and you're sitting in the same place, more sustained loading, not getting in and out of the saddle as much, and you're not, you know, for example, just even stopping at lights, moving away, things like that. So the sustained loading at the saddle is more pressure, friction is more, and the combination of that with sweat, things like that, it can lead to different types of issues. Now, that's hard to stop, but things like just literally setting an alarm on your top of your handlebars every 20 minutes to remind you to get out of the saddle while you're chasing the guy down the road on Swift or Peloton or whatever can really help. Just getting in and out of the saddle, giving your skin a breather, relieving the pressure. Um, making sure that you use appropriate chamois creams if you suffer from that skin, skin breakdown. That is a pretty useful thing to do. Um, but in terms of the sustained loading on the knee, you might just need in the winter to really double up on your off-bike stuff. So if you use a foam roller, if you've got certain stretches that help with making sure that the knee remains free. It's just simple as this. It's like you're in one position as if you're on the road. And if I said to you, you're not allowed to get out of the saddle for the next hour and we're on a road ride, you probably look at me and go, that's going to be tough. Well, that's indoor training. So it is tough. It's great, but maybe you have to, I would say, redouble your efforts around skincare, particularly around the saddle issues, Trying to remember to get out of the saddle as often as you can. If you can afford a fan to blow air over the front, that'll make a major difference to you. Increase your enjoyment, no doubt, not as much sweating as well overall. And just being right on it. It's something that we're noticing. I'm sure it's going to grow in terms of still growing, but we might see those type of injuries. And we don't want people stopping cycling with something that they're enjoying that's adding to the enjoyment of cycling overall. So if you've got any questions about indoor training and your setup or how optimally to enjoy that or stay injury free, just drop them in the comments.